All right, guys, look, before we get started on today's show, I got to do a special shout out to viewer Wendy Atkins right before coming on air. UPS pulls up and I got me a brand new pair of fat heads from viewer Wendy Atkins and a pretty cool special card for sure. Sent right from her pups, man, as Molly rolls around in the uh, grass. Oh, man, special shout out to Wendy, man. I mean, this is a, uh, this is not only a week maker, man. This is probably a month maker, man. I really, really appreciate it. So, Wendy, thanks, man. And I hope you do like shrimp scampi, because if you do, you're definitely going to want to make this recipe. All right, guys, look, so I've already tipped the show. If you've read the uh, title in the beginning, you know what the show is. And look, Summer of 22 is happening right now. I do believe it started yesterday, and I like to mix in some good, uh, some good summer recipes along with the uh, usual fare. And on today's show, man, it is a shrimp and scallop scampi that I am going to do off on the griddle. And look, if you don't have a griddle, you can just follow along on a... Uh, a saute pan, that's how I've done it in the past. I am telling you, man, once you uh, make this dish, you will be hooked forever. I will explain everything as I go step by step so you'll be able to do it too. So trust me, man, this is gonna be one that you are gonna wanna make. Let's turn all the cameras around. Guys, you definitely wanna try and stay with this one, man. The flavors are through the roof. So look, getting everything all prepped out, getting everything all ready is key. You see, I've got my seasoned flour, I've got my scallops, and I've also got some cleaned and deveined shrimp. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna dust them off in the flour. And you definitely wanna dust on all three sides inside that split right there and then on both sides of the shrimp. And look, my uh, flour is seasoned, like I said, with some salt and black pepper. All right, guys, look, so this is definitely gonna be one of the recipes that you're gonna to wanna to get all your prep work out of the way. You saw on the board that I have all my lemons, my garlic, my shallots, and I'll have everything down in the description under show notes in printable form. All my recipes are down there now. Just hit one button, takes you to my website. Press another button. You can print out the recipe and grab everything you need. Have everything prepped up because this recipe is gonna go fast. And as you can see, I just floured out my shrimp and scallops. So we are ready to go. Now let's get over to the griddle and start griddling. All right guys, look, as our griddle comes up to temperature, this is what we wanna do. We want about a 400 degree surface temp on the griddle. We are gonna start with our scallops and shrimp on the griddle. We will cook them to about 95%. We will then take those off, get them on a plate, save all the juices that come off the uh, scallops, and, uh, scallops and shrimp. So you could use the same uh, plate. At that point, we will monitor the uh, surface temp of our griddle because we will get our garlic and we'll get our shallots on and we will start building flavors. So let's get over, man. Remember, the griddle is nothing more than a big saute pan. We got our oil down and you see I'm a little hot there at about 450. So I'm going to turn my burners off. I'm going to turn my burners off and bring that temperature down to where I want it. And that is about 400. So look, it is split side down. You want to stand up those shrimp and also get your scallops down. And look, we'll introduce a little bit more oil because what the oil is going to do is that is going to give you your good, your good crust. And you can see I am now turning the, uh, the griddle back on to bring that temperature up to where I want it. So look, again, 400 griddle surface, and you're probably gonna cook these for about three, four minutes, or whenever you get a nice crust on them. When the uh, when you get the crust on the scallops and shrimp that you want, 
you know it is time to flip and it is time to turn those shrimp onto her side. So as you could see there, I got a lot of pooling of oil in the center of the pit. So what I did was I just kind of moved the scallops and shrimp over to the oil so they could sit in the oil and that is what we're looking for. So as I said, once you're happy with that, uh, that crust, we will get the uh, shrimp turned on its side. That is the uh, second side. And we will also flip our scallops. Here you go. That is flavor. So basically what I like to do here is once I do that initial flimp on the uh, shrimp and scallops, I like to get a little salt down and a little bit of a uh, black pepper down. Oh, yeah. And now what we will do, we will take our shrimp and we will flip it onto its third side. Guys, we are almost done. We are almost ready to get these off. Cooking time under five minutes. We will get some fresh lemon, squeezed lemon on. And at that point, we will pull them off to rest. All right, guys, look, man, I've got my pit fired down. I want to bring that temperature down definitely to that 350 to 400 range, no hotter than that. We are going to start building flavors now on the pit. We are going to introduce the garlic and the shallots, and we're going to cook those a little bit, and then we will deglaze the uh, griddle and get all that goodness combined. And I am telling you, man, through the roof, man, this is thing's going to be packed with flavor. So as you see, we are about 350, 360, 356 on the surface. That is perfect. We'll get the shallots down. We'll get our chopped garlic down and we will get some dab of butter on both. And now look, man, that is a lot of flavor right there. Basically, we're going to get a little lemon juice on that. We will cook that down for under a minute and then we will deglaze the griddle. that is about a cup of white wine going down now and look man you are going to take all those little bits and pieces man and put them in the sauce and i am telling you man it is picking up so much flavor with the uh with the shallots the garlic the white wine the lemon and of course you got the bits and pieces of the scallops and the shrimp in there So look, the whole trick here is you want to work that griddle surface. You don't want that griddle surface up into the 455. You will break that sauce. Keep it at 400, 375. Keep working that sauce. Melt that butter in and it'll incorporate it all together. And that is a little fresh lemon juice going down. Again, man, a little butter in and just work the sauce, work the sauce, keep the sauce moving. And that is what you want. You want that sauce to incorporate it together and not broke. Now look, man, you will know when the sauce is broke because it'll separate, right? The butter will separate from the uh, oil and it'll uh, just look like a mess. So you want to just keep it moving, incorporate it together, keep that flame low. And man, you will do awesomely.
guys look we will get this plated up man i appreciate all you guys i am going to take this in for some closing thoughts and that all important taste test yeah all right guys look man i would say that came out uh perfect no broken sauce man that is the uh, that is the hard part when you're doing it on a griddle you know the key to that is with a saute pan you could keep flipping it you know you can keep flicking it you can keep it moving and that's how you stop the uh the sauce from breaking besides the heat so it's a little bit more tougher to do it on the griddle but hey man you can do it just lower your uh lower your heat on the griddle as you add the uh, butter and the white wine and just keep it moving with a little bit of flour in there that is a cheat and you'll do just fine so look man i am going to do a uh, quick taste test man this is a uh little dinner action for the wife when she gets home and I would say she has it uh she has it pretty good shrimp and scallop scampi on the table let's go in guys for summertime flavors man shrimp scampi shrimp and scallop scampi is hard to beat I mean, all the flavors are in there. You get the, uh, I use a lot of garlic, man. You get that blast of garlic, man. You got the, uh, it's incorporated perfectly together with the butter. You've got a hint of that white wine, the salt and pepper, the shrimp, the scallops, the sweetness of the scallops, man, along with the rice, man. This is a, uh, this is a killer summertime meal. There is no doubt about it. So look, man, I am gonna get this in the house. This is dinner tonight, like I said. And again, a, a special shout out to Wendy for the shades, man. I definitely dig them for sure. And I also dig these guys right here. That is my YouTube join and Patreon members. I appreciate those guys. I got information on that down below. So look, until next time, we will see you soon.